what kind of effects will a sword cut on the forearm uh, have? So uh, today we'll discuss this in this video. Uh, so start, uh, to start off, we have to first understand the anatomy of the human forearm and hand uh, a little bit first. So let's say, with my palm facing up to the sky, this will be the anterior uh, side of my forearm and hand. Okay? And this will be the posterior uh, side. So we will start with the anterior side first. So these muscles over here, they are responsible for flexion, which is my wrist bending this way and my fingers closing into a fist. Right? So this is the elbow. If you were to just go slightly beyond the elbow and touch here, okay, so when you do flexion of the wrist or fingers, which is this or and this, you feel that the muscle here bulging up. Uh, that's because you're using the muscles uh, in this area. Yeah. So let's say we just flip over. So now uh, my palm is facing down. So this is the elbow, slightly beyond the elbow a little bit, you touch here. Right, so if I do, uh, this will be the extension uh, muscle. So if I were to extend my wrist, which is this, okay, and uh, extend my fingers too, that means if I do ex extension on my wrist and extension on my fingers, which means uh, straightening my fingers, this, okay, you will, if you touch here, you will feel the muscle here bulging up. That's because you're using the muscles uh, in this uh, area. Yeah. So uh, this so flex, flexor muscle here and uh, extension muscle here. So let's say if I were to receive uh, an injury, so a sort cut on my forearm, on the extens extensor muscle area, that will result in that will reduce my ability to extend my wrist, as well as uh, reduce my ability to straighten my fingers. Right. So likewise, if I were to suffer an injury to my flexor muscles. Here, with my palm facing up, so this anterior side. If I receive a cut, okay, some anywhere along the forearm area, that will reduce or remove the my ability to flex my wrist and flex my fingers, which is to close uh, my fingers, right? So how much uh, reduction in ability to perform either flexion or extension? Uh, I mean that depends on the injury. So let's say if, for instance. Uh, if I were to hold the sword this way, so usually this area tends to receive hits more often. So let me, let's say it's a worst case uh, scenario whereby I, my ability to extend uh, my wrist or my fingers has been totally removed. That means I will not, let's say I receive a very deep cut uh, on this area, right, on the extensor muscle here. That means I cannot do this and I cannot straighten my fingers. So I'll be holding my weapon like this, right. So full flexion means flexion of the wrist and flexion of the fingers. So I'll be holding, holding my weapon this way, uh, then that would not be an ideal way for you to hold the weapon. Right, so uh, one tricky point here is like this. So if you uh, look at this, so now this is as, as if uh, I'm holding a weapon with my wrist uh, straight, right? So to maintain a straight wrist against resistance, that means if someone tries to bend your wrist, uh, you can still resist them and maintain straight. This position, uh, which is how you will hold a sword, right? This position requires both flexor muscle and extensor muscle. Requires both. You can't just use one of them. Right. So if I were to use 100% only the flexor muscle, I'll be holding a weapon like this, which I've just mentioned. Right. If I were to use 100% of my extensor muscle, I'll be like this. Right. So to hold a sword or hold any weapon in a centralized uh, position, you require both flexor and extensor uh, muscles to hold this. So if, if you were to you know, uh, receive some damage on either side, okay, that will overall reduce your ability to hold a weapon with your wrist in a straight uh, position. Uh, one last point. So the tendons behind your palm, so over here, so the muscle, the extensor muscle here goes up, extensor muscle here goes up okay, and connects to the tendon so that when they contract, it will straighten your fingers. Right. So if you hold a weapon this way and your enemy cuts you on uh, the extensor tendons, right, that will re that will take away your ability to straighten your fingers and as well as to straighten your wrist. So that will also result in uh, inability to hold a weapon properly. But uh, in any case, in a real life scenario, uh, it will depend on how much damage you actually receive. So let's say if I let's say ten percent of the muscle fibers on my extensor muscle got damaged. So maybe I will, it will reduce 10% of my ability to uh, extend my wrist and extend my fingers. 
So that may not take away fully my ability to fight the sword. Yeah, but in the real life, yeah, so we have to see accordingly how much damage you have received. So I hope this video helps to explain uh, how the forearm muscles, uh, how an injury to the forearm muscles will actually affect your ability to uh, hold a sword and fight in a sword fight. Thank you.